this right here is my own Minecraft mod pack, which I created using the CurseForge launcher. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create your own mod pack for Minecraft. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, guys, before we go ahead and create that mod pack, if you're trying to play your mod pack with friends on a multiplayer server, then Apex Hosting is the perfect service for you. They'll actually support over 200 mod packs that are already pre-made, but they also support your own custom mod pack, which if that's what you want to do, this is the perfect service for you. They have locations all around the world, so you don't have to worry about lagging. Something that I personally love about Apex Hosting is that you can create the server and access the server console through your phone, meaning that you could be away from the house and stuff and still control your server and change the settings, kick people out, whatever you want to do. It is your server after all. Anyways, I'm going to leave that first link in the description for 25% off. And now let's keep going with the tutorial. Now, in this video, we're assuming you already have the CurseForge launcher. However, if you don't have the CurseForge launcher installed because you will need it, go ahead and click on that second link in the description. It's our written guide on how to download and install the CurseForge launcher. And of course, we also have videos in the channel on how to install the launcher. Anyways, once you got the CurseForge launcher installed, go ahead and open it up, select the Minecraft area in here, the Minecraft game, right? You will choose Minecraft. And over here, you're going to head over to my mod packs. In here, you're going to click on the create button right here. And that is going to give you this little create profile thing in here. Now, it's pretty straightforward. You just have to fill in all the information. Right now, I'm going to name my mod pack. It's Cuba. As you can see, I went ahead and chose the logo of the channel. For the Minecraft version, this is obviously up to you guys. If you're doing a mod pack that is going to have a lot of mods and you want to go for an older version of the mod pack or of Minecraft to make sure that your mods are all compatible, be my guess. A lot of people use 1.12.2 because that version has a lot of mods that are compatible with. Some other people choose 1.18.1, 1.18, 1.16.5 is a popular. It's up to you, okay? In this case, I'm going to choose 1.21. And now in the game types, this is pretty important. This is where you're going to choose what your mod pack is going to have. I'm assuming none of you are going to choose vanilla because then why are you creating a mod pack, right? If you're creating a mod pack, most of you will choose a mod loader in here. You have Forge, Fabric, Quilt, and Neo Forge. Now, the one that you choose is completely up to you, and I do recommend that you do your research before choosing one because some mods are not compatible with certain mod loaders. The most popular ones are usually Forge and Fabric. So in this video or in this tutorial, we're going to choose Forge. But yeah, choose the one that you want in here. And then for the mod loader version, this applies to whatever mod loader you're using, not the game version, just the mod loader. Some mods are not updated to the newest mod loader version, though they might say they're compatible with 1.21. They might not be compatible with the latest mod loader version. I know that part could be a little bit complicated. Usually I just choose the newest one and I just hope that all the mods that I'm going to be using on my mod pack work, right? So once you do that, you selected everything here, go ahead and hit create. And I'll actually add a profile in here, start downloading everything that you need. It usually is just all those forge files and everything that a mod pack needs just as a base, right? We still don't have any mods in here, or at least we don't have any of the mods that usually people want to add, right? So once your mod pack has finished installing everything, and I'll actually let it finish installing here, we're going to click on add more content. And as you can see, you also have resource packs and shaders, which is pretty useful. A lot of the times when you create a mod pack, especially an optimization, mod pack you have to add resource packs and shaders and change a couple settings so it is pretty useful that you could manage all of those in here but let's go ahead and wait for this to finish now once the mod pack has created let's go ahead and add mods and to do so go ahead and select the mods tab in here and click on add more content and that is going to bring you over here where you could now start selecting all those mods that you want to add for example let's say that you want to add just enough item to your mod pack just hit install here and that will start installing the mod into your mod pack i should say let's say that you want to add journey map so people could have a journey map or a map or mini map when they're playing and you want to add waystone and what is pretty cool about this in here is that you're going to get all the mods already filtered to 1.21 or to whatever version you chose of minecraft as you can see they're already filtering here for the mod loader forge and for the 1.21 version or instance of minecraft now, i went ahead and installed biomes of plenty as well now something that i noticed in here is whenever you install for example biomes of plenty if there is any other mod that biomes of plenty require or any mod has a mod dependency curseforge will apparently install it automatically it already installed Turb blender for me which is a mod required by Biomes of Plenty and it went ahead and installed it for me when I installed Biomes of Plenty, which is pretty cool because actually going to save you a couple of research and, and yeah, it's not going to waste your time a lot. Anyways, let's say that you're done adding mods. What you will do now is just click on this little X in here on the top, head back over here and you will see your mods installed here. Any mod that you don't recognize is probably a mod that was installed by some other mod as a mod dependency. And now if you just want to play, you could just click on play here. Of course, you could always head back to my mod packs and you will always see your mod pack in there and you could always click on it. And let's say that you want to export your mod pack because you want to upload it to any platform which is a video that is coming up actually we're going to have a video on how to upload your mod packs from here to curseforce.com to mod print and to other websites so you could actually share that mod pack and your friends could download that mod pack from a website right so if you want to do that you click on these little three dots in here and then you will click where it says export profile right here just click on export profile and then here go ahead and name this whatever you want for package version you could actually give whatever number to this this is just kind of uh something for you to keep track then go ahead and select the mods that you want to 
export with this and then hit export and it will like start exporting your mod pack into a zip file. Now I'm not going to export mine right now, but that is the way you will do it. And that is pretty important if in the future you want to upload this mod pack to a website, right? Which like I said, it's a video that we do have coming up. So don't forget to subscribe. Now you could also just click on open folder and let's say that you want to add mods manually. You will do it so through here. So you don't have to do it through here, which is pretty convenient, right? To do it through the launcher. But if you are a person who likes to do it manually, you could always do it through here. Now, of course, obviously you could also add shaders and resource packs. So let's say you head over to shaders. You want to add shaders in here. Just click on add more content and that'll bring you over here where you have all the shaders already selected. Now, something I'm not sure about, and we're actually going to go ahead and try that is if we install some shaders, if that will actually install some type of shader loader, because usually you will need a shader loader to play with shaders. As you can see, there's no shader loader in here in our mod packs. So yeah, if we want shaders, we're going to have to install a shader loader manually, which is pretty cool. We just found out about that. So for example, for Forge, we'll need Optify. Unfortunately, Optify 1.21 is not out yet. But yeah, that is something that you will need to do manually. Install the shader loaders manually. We have videos on the channel on how to do that. So I don't think it should be an issue. However, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Now, before we go ahead and finish this video, I do want to let you know that if you are playing a 1.21 Minecraft mod pack, you're going to need to install Java 21 in your computer. I'm going to go ahead and leave this guide in the description on how to download and install Java 21 for Minecraft. The thing is that any Minecraft above 1.20.5 will actually require you to have Java 21 installed. Installing Java 21 is pretty simple. You just download it, hit next a couple of times on the installer and you have Java installed and then you play Minecraft 1.21 without any issues. So whenever you try to play your mod pack, if your mod pack crashes, you just need to update Java 21 most of the times and it will fix your issue. So let's go ahead and test out my mod pack real quick to make sure it is working. So what you would do is just hit play. Now it's probably going to open the new Minecraft launcher with your mod pack already added. Sometimes you will have to log in here, especially if this is the first time you're playing through CurseForge. Yeah, you're going to have to log in here. Just go ahead and do so. And then once you're here in the launcher, you should see your mod pack in here. Of course, you could head over to installations, click on the three dots, click on edit, and then change the RAM in here if needed. I'm going to leave mine here on default, but this is where you will change the RAM for your mod pack. We have videos on the channel on how to do that. So yeah, if you have any issues doing that, you could just go ahead and watch those videos. Let's go ahead and hit play and let's go ahead and test out our mod pack. Now I'm here in the game already and I already see that there's 12 mods loader, meaning that probably my mod pack is working. I'm going to go ahead and hit play in here. I'm going to play this in creative so we could just join the world real quick. Of course, if you want to play your mod pack on multiplayer, you can. And that's also a video that we will have coming up. But the easiest way to play these mod packs on multiplayer is by heading over to the first link in the description and get a 25% off discount when you create your first server with Apex Hosting. That is definitely the best way to play a mod pack. And you could actually add the mod pack to your server using Apex Hosting, which is pretty cool, which means that you could just set up a server where your friends could join and you could play the mod pack that you created using CurseForge the launcher on Apex Hosting. Anyways, as you can see, we're here in the world and everything is working. This is Biomes of Plenty. And as you can see, the world generation worked as I intended. There is journey map working on the top. So that is also something that worked. As you can see, we have just enough items in here. But yeah, this is this is the mod pack working. And that is going to actually summarize this video. Anytime you want to play your mod pack, you're going to have to head back to your CurseForge launcher. But yeah, that is one thing with this. You're going to have to use the CurseForge launcher unless you upload your mod pack to something else or you export it and you add it manually to your regular Minecraft launcher which if you have any questions on how to do any of that, let us know down in the comments and we'll probably make a video or a written article on that. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, bye bye.